Hi there guys, we're back at Das Motors again, yeah? For another review. Today, we got something rare. I think you thought the C63 was rare. What we got for you today is even rarer than that. But let's check out this uh, smart car for a quick minute. You know what? Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of this smart car, man. This is nice, you know what? The other ones I weren't really feeling, but this one, I kind of like it. But yeah. Let's go check out the R36. Oh boy. So we've got R36 here, 3.6 litre Passat, Volkswagen Passat. Only 250 of these were made. This one here is very, very nice. Only 40,000 miles on the clock, as you can see here. For a nine year old car, this is in great spec and condition. Dual exhaust at the back. But let's start talking on spec. Start from the front. Boom. So as you can see here, we've got the bison on headlights. Parking sensors. This silver grill here. Just gives the car extra flavor. The wheels have not been refurbed once. Everything is in showroom condition. As you see here, it is sitting in, on blue calipers, showroom condition. The car has been dropped 20 millimeters from its uh, sun, just a standard Passat B6. As we go across the door here, we see a nice shiny silver trimming. I'm gonna go around every alloy wheel so you understand what I mean. That has not been refurbed. That is in standard showroom condition. As we come to the back here, you can see the twin pipe exhaust, parking sensors all around. One wheel there. And the other there. Let's check, let's take, have a look inside. So as we come to the driver's side, we've got half leather door cards. Contrasting nicely with the leather seats and it feels like suede actually. It's really really nice. No scruffy seat in here It's been left in pristine condition as you can see The center console Is a lovely aluminium So we've got here a six speed dual clutch transmission. Parking sensors here, tire settings, stability control, and we've got the auto hold handbrake. For a 2009 car, this is, this is up there. This is up there, man. So on your media system, it's loading up, there we go, boom. Got the nav here, maps, your uh, settings for your bass and your music and your, yeah, <laughs> phone settings, media settings and radio. Oh boy. So as you look at the steering wheel, it's not exactly flat bottomed, but mm, no, I couldn't say it was flat bottomed, but it's a really nice feel. As you sit here and you just feel the steering wheel, you can tell it's been treated very well. You can see the paddles there. And we're gonna give you a few revs right now. <laughs> Guys, as I'm revving this car, the car is shaking from side to side. I haven't had a chance to drive this yet, but I think this has to be one of my, one of the main ones I want to drive, man. Seriously, because this is a beast. Oh my god! So let's have a look at the back. So as we come to the back, we have half leather door cards with electric windows. We have the same. The same leather 
and suede seats as in the front we have an armrest here armrest and drinks holders boom climate control in the middle but like the SQ7 it doesn't have the um, child locking on it but you know it's up to date for the year it was made and this one is in absolutely fabulous condition so we're gonna give you a few revs now <laughs> listen to the beast growl <laughs> 